the insight given to us by the pathologist. Um, as I promised you, I thought I'd show you some few um, specimens to finish up. Um, we would now um, show you the base of the heart, which has been dissected for you. Come on. Okay, so this is a deatrialized specimen. Okay, so this is the mitral valve, and you could see the AML, PML. The PML is the mural leaflet, the AML is the septal leaflet. Okay. So here, this is the tricuspid valve. Okay, focus. Yeah. So the tricuspid valve, you could see the septal leaflet here. Somebody has to show the light. Okay. So that's the septal leaflet there. And this would be the large anterior leaflet. And that's the posterior leaflet. So that's how the surgeon would, would probably see it. So the septal leaflet would be towards him. The posterior leaflet behind, the anterior leaflet in front. Okay. Okay. So between these two, you have the interatrial septum. And where this hits the aortic valve, that is your non-coronary sinus and the non-coronary cusp. Okay. So this is a feature in the echocardiogram as well. Interatrial septum onto non-coronary cusp. Okay. The right is there, giving off the right coronary artery, which goes around the tricuspid valve. And the left is here, left main. Okay. That gives off the circ, which goes around the mitral valve. The coronary sinus also goes around the mitral valve. So when you see a mitral valve like this, as in the surgeon's position, you, the iota is there, AML, PML, and your circumflex around, your coronary sinus around. Okay. And this is the pulmonary artery, pulmonary valve. If you see that all these three fellows are sitting at one level, and this guy is sitting a little bit higher, that is because of the presence of this conus. So this, this conus pushes the pulmonary valve above. And the pulmonary valve has one anterior leaflet and one right and left. And the iota has the posterior leaflet or the non-coronary leaflet and the right and left. So the iota will have a posterior leaflet and the pulmonary artery will have an anterior leaflet. Okay. Um, I would trans-illuminate the aortic leaflet for you a bit. So you could see the nodule of Arantiae, which is nicely seen in the specimen that we found. So if you, if you have a look at this, if you, if you have a look at this, so that, it's probably too bright. Okay, so the nodule of Arantiae is here. And this is one lunule. This is another lunule. So you have two lunules for each leaflet. So six lunules for each valve, 12 lunules for the heart. So this is the clear portion. This is the rough portion where it coaps with the corresponding lunule of the neighbor and the nodule of Arantia. And when we pop this into the right, as Dr. Vijit showed you, you could see the membrane septum here. These are the interleaflet triangles on both sides. So this is your non-coronary cusp with nothing here. That's your left and that your, and this side is your right. So your central fibrous body will be here and your left fibrous trigone will be there. And if you would see that in the, in this deatralized specimen, 
that would be the area of the central fibrous body and there would be your left fibrous trigone and this is your iotomital curtain which hangs between the two so that is your mitral valve so that's your iotomital curtain and that is NCC, LCC, iotomital curtain, NCC, LCC. These are the areas where a lot of iotic root widening gets done and then the incision will probably go into the AML as well. So this is the area of iotic root widenings. Okay, now um, to show you a little bit of what Dr. Suresh had been explaining, this is the vertical layer where the muscle fibers are going vertically, the outer layer in the LV, the inner layer is the circular layer. So there was a guy called Thorin Guasp who had dissected the heart out into a helix and the, the result of what he would show us is this. So the entire heart muscle is one big rope which is wound around like this helix. The inner circular fibers of the left ventricle and this is the vertical fibers of the left ventricle which go like this. So the heart with its architecture for you as per Torrent Guasp. So I think we've had a reasonable four hours trying to um, understand the nuances of cardiac anatomy. We have had a lot of speakers with a lot of experience who's, who put in a lot of uh, um, effort into showing you the things about the heart. So we have discussed basic anatomy and how they affect diagnosis, symptoms, treatment, surgery. And I think that has been a good for us for us. Normally this would go on for two and a half days and we have a lot of applied things to show you, but uh, this year um, we thought this would be short and sweet and we would do it this way. We plan one for next year in July, around 25th. Um, we would get the information out and uh, there we would see that if the corona goes away and we could get people into the auditorium, we would probably have a more hands-on and interactive session. Um, so until then, it's goodbye from all of us. Come along guys, I let my... Come. So these are all... Justin should also come. Yeah, come, just, just, come. just one, come, just one. Come, Sanjay. Come, come. Come, come, come. From all of us here at the Madras Medical Mission, our cardiac morphology team, and a lot of friends from from outside as well who've been uh, part of this team for for so many years i think uh, cheers and hopefully 2021 we will join together in an auditorium and have a session of interactive hands-on cardiac morphology like how it's always been thank you thank you